Hello there. So in this video, we're going to create a stunning AI animations from your own videos. And for this, we're going to use a local installation of Stable Diffusion. If you're not familiar with how to make its local install, I'll provide link above and below for you to watch this video and install on your machine. You can also run this on a Google Colab as with your notepad if you need it. So let's go ahead and say what we currently running. It is running Stable Diffusion with the automatic 111 um, UI installations, which allowed me to add additional extensions and scripts. And it's what important for us to do because we're going to use it GIF to GIF script. To install that script, we need to go to extension tab. And if you notice right here is it's already installed on mine, but if on yours not yet installed, it's okay. You'll need to go to install from URL. If you go to available and check, you'll see it's nothing is here. So this is not available there. We need to go directly from install. For this, I'll provide link to this, the GitHub locations. You need to go click on a code, HTTPS and copy path for this repository. Next, you need to take this path, copy and paste to the URL extension. Click install. After it's installed very fast, it should start displaying in your installed scripts. Be sure after this, you click apply and restart UI. So that it's refreshing and that options was available, will be available for you inside the image to image. A couple other scripts I would recommend for you to install it as you use it. It does will make the job a little bit easy, mostly when you work with video. The one it is SD Web UI. AR, what is meaning it's a spec rate shows. And it's when you work with images, you'll notice right here, I have a just simple buttons. So it's meaning if I change just height or other things, I can press spec rate show and it will automatically calculate it and set for me. So I don't need to worry to calculate this. And it's work one by one, three by two, four by three. So all standard settings. So this is one and another ones, it just helped to with the system information. So just provide some info on what utilizations of your currently GPU happening. Okay, this is will also located in your um, extensions, but those ones you can find in list of available. After you install it and you restart UI, we are ready to work. We'll go to image to image. And for this, I'm using in punk model. I just like it how it will look for the specific videos that I'm going to work. You can use it any other um, type of the models. And I have some examples to showing for you. This is model. It will again based on your personal choice and preferences. So after we install the extension, so you will notice right here below, we'll have it now in a script. If we click down, we'll have it GIF to GIF. If we enable preloaded the script, now we have additional properties and options. One, which we're going to use it, uploaded our own GIF, and also desired frame rates, actual frame rates in original. Those ones will look a second when we start working on this. Now we need preloaded. And this is actually work very well with animated GIF. So you can have it already pre-animated GIF, or in this case, what I want to do, I'm gonna use it my own personal footage so I can use it inside the application. But if I have it my video, I need to convert my video to a GF. And when I'm converting, I need to find out what size and how many frames per second. So through my experiment and testing on all different things, I found out the best frame rate, you won't have it about 12 frames per second. And to work it properly, you can have it about uh, 20 seconds. So reasons why I'm saying this, because let's say right here, we're going to upload image and I'm going to select something that is quite a bit large size. Um, for example, let's go with uh, maybe 12. This is a little bit larger. And when you try to upload, you will get this errors come up. So it is a little bit out of the range. Um, I think it's something to do with the buffer memory, how it's try to extrapolate those frames from JF file. So this way, if you have it, how I said about 20 seconds link maximum, and it's about 12 frames per second, this is sweet spot because it provides us with nice animations and it's also provided with good link for our footage. How to convert, you have several ways to do it. You can go for free, easy GIF and just download your file here, which convert to animated GIF from your video file. 
If you have subscriptions to Adobe, you can go to Adobe Express, which actually allowed you easier way to convert from your videos to GIF and from GIF to video, so you can go back and forward. And for my own purpose, I'm going to use in Camtasia. The reason is I'm using my uh, Camtasia to edit my YouTube videos and other things, so I'm kind of familiar. And in your case, just use whatever tools you feel familiar. So most important things for us in this case, it's to be sure it's about 20 seconds link and it's about 12 frames per second. You can increase slightly the link of the file if you uh, reduce amount of the frames. But from what I find out, 10 frames per second, a little bit choppier, but it still be working very good. Below that, it's become too choppy and 12 is perfect. That's what you're using for the um, still frame animations anyway when we're creating. Okay, right here I have it, the file and you can see this is the video was shot. So what I want to do if if I want to create, I can pre-trim this or I can export file. And export is easy in this case. All what you need to do is select your destination, trim, click export in this case, one uh, with one application or, or another ones. Um, this is was shot in Disneyland Galaxy Edge. So I'm going to say um, Galaxy Edge. And let's go say it's 12 frames per second. Next, I want to switch this to as a GIF. And most important in encoding, I want to say it's a 12 frames per second. When I'm done, I'm going to export this video. Again, you can export by using the Adobe Express or any other free services as long you kind of stay in this range. After we're done with conversion and have a selection of our files, we're ready to process. Let's go inside our local installation of Stable Diffusion. We're going to image to image. And if we scroll down below, you'll notice right here, we have it, our scripts. So before we're going to select uh, GIF to GIF and ready to upload. To upload file, we don't want to use the main area. We want to use it this small corner or below. So I'm going to go ahead and click Upload a GIF. Okay, and I'm going to select file. I'm actually going to select one file that created similar to 12 frames, only 10 frames. So it's a little bit less. And the reason is for the video, I want to process it a little bit faster. So the less frames, less time it's take for me to process. Um, it sometimes may take a little bit time to preload it. And as long it does not pop up instantly and says errors, you're okay with this. You'll notice when it's preloaded, it will first load it in a top image. Okay, right here. And also you can see it will also start uploading up on top, on the bottom. This is a top, it will display as a still image. And when it's finished uploading on the bottom, and it will be displaying the animated if we preload it. Even with 10 frames per second is not bad. However, I say 12 frames will give you better and nice smaller animations. Notice we have it our desired FPS, actual FPS and everything. So we'll go a little bit later over all of the settings. Even at this point, if you want it, you can go ahead and start generating and this will start creating image. But it won't be what you wanted. And the reason why I'm saying, and here are some example. Um, I took this JF as example and run as the um, Halloween preview. So with all the false settings, it doesn't come up close. It's come up not bad. It's have some interesting things and you can see how it's matched some coloring with the purple and other things, but it is way far from the video that I have. And reason is because some setting is not yet there. First settings, what we want to do is of course, apply properly style and stylizations come from the model we're going to use beside the text. For these examples, I'm using Ink Punk. The link for that model will be provided below. And as we're using the Ink Punk, we want to be sure we have it properly addressed or initiate initialize this model. We'll do this by pasting the trigger word in this case. Next, let's go ahead and type in what we want it. And in this case, it will be Star Wars Cyberpunk. Yeah, I kind of want to mix those two genres together. Okay, next, you can be as Calibrate or whatever you want to do. It. It's fine. Um, next, what we want, it is work a little bit maybe on a steps if you want it. For the test, I will have a 20. You can go very high. The more steps, it's more times it cycles will process it. Better details will edit. 
and as I, before i want to create it's a match original ratio which is a 16 by 9 and uh, we're going to just click on 16 by 9 so it's automatically set for us this size um, it is still be a little bit smaller from original footage that's okay because we're going to use the topaz video afterwards to upscale this okay so we're done with this notice we still have it 7 5 and point is what's happening with the noise strings so it's take your original image in this case gif uh, G, uh, gif when it's separated and it's put it noise on top and after this ai going to try figure out what to do so let me show you a little bit examples from different levels as you can go so here is this footage and this is done with a 0.4 so it's not even 7.7 7 is like totally different you cannot recognize anything but you can see even right here it you cannot see Fa malina falcon you can see some towers and it's not bad rotation but it's jumping too much around so even you are at this much um, denoising string that is a little bit too much so if we're going to next 0.25 that is a little bit better it's not recognizable malina falcon but it's least recognizable building and i do like this because it's if you want to have a different place but base it your motion of your camera and you can see as a camera is the panning around on a single point you can see how it's changing as well so it's give it us like panoramic view so if you want to keep it motion of the camera with the build large items there that is probably a good option for you of course we can add more details by the descriptions we can add more details by increasing steps but this is nice way however if you want to get closer to the um your image you need to decrease this so example right here we can see this is a 0.15 and in this case you actually can recognize millennium falcon very easy you recognize all the settings people look abstract but it's based on a style what was using for this but it's very nice good motion on this case so and beside this one if we decrease even lower from this for example to going 0 0.07 you definitely can recognize everything and it's almost overlay so in this case almost look like you know this video clip with the aha video music so that way you can create your own aha moment in this case you can take your footage apply it easy and you can see how well it's worked this way remember you can use different models different styles and descriptions if you need it in this case if you go and leave it below this it's get a little bit too close to original filter which is still been not bad but maybe it's not what you wanted so overall i will say probably your sweet spot in this case be anywhere from 15 to 25 it just depends how much flexibility you want to give it so we can set like point okay after we reset our denoise we set our sampling i will just for the test i'll keep it actually even maybe lower you know so it will process faster for while i'm record videos usually i would recommend keep it about 50 maybe higher sometimes i go crazy 150 but it does not really honestly worth as much probably 50 will be very good because hey, i'll go just decrease a little bit for the purpose of this video um same with in height we leave it this our string noise and if we're going down you'll notice right here desire ps so currently 10 and 10 you can increase more but honestly i did not find its work as well as expected it just add a little bit or faster movements or doing kind of funny things about this so you can kind of change interpolations does not work well and i'll show you in a second why interpolations does not work very well as well resize uh to original dimensions it's not necessarily working and delete so we just leave it all of this as default um you can try play with desire frame rate to add additional because i did not find it's work very well for me so after this when we're done we'll just go ahead and click generate so what is happening at this moment you can see it start kicking out the frames for us so it does not bad and if we look also on the utilizations of the gpu for this one it does uh, use it not that much depend on results sometimes i it's kind of easy going up to 24 and by the way i am using the uh, rtx 
3090 with 24 gigabyte RAM. If you have it less uh, GRAM, it will start spawning on your shared uh, memory, which is actually your normal memory. And in this case, it will slow down quite a bit of the processing. Um, again, if you do it locally, you probably won't be sure you have a good GPU so you can do this way. Okay, let me process. And while this is actually processing, let me show you some examples what we can do. And as example, we can use a different models. So right here, example of the the ink punk model, and you can see it's actually produced very nice. Mostly it was test for me as zoom out as well. You notice a little bit later we'll have it the hand. This is actually a very nice representation close of the hand, very recognizable, easy way to do it. So this is another model. Um, I think this is um, the false stable diffusion 2.0 model. It is produce some different result. And of course, it. please keep in mind, this is not, I did not tweak with any strings. I did not do any negative prompts, which is worth a lot. It, it just straight out test, okay, on different, how the style does it pick up different models and you know, all this stuff creating. Okay, this is our, I think it's even Disney maybe style I applied to this. Some of them you can see how, um, merging does not work so it is this is was done on point four if i'm right this is point four so we'll need to decrease a little bit to make a little bit better this is the open journey if i'm right model open journey on this one here's another one with a this one is anything anime type and actually anything anime does very good job i did it with the self portrait and other things so and it's actually performed very very well and here's another model with decreasing to 0.3 you can see it's a little bit better distinguished people but you still have some problem with the um keeping up figures however big large items like hands and phones actually come up very very well and as I speak about Porsches, this is another example. So right here, it's my um, handsome face. And uh, I was just taking recording on video, convert to the uh, GIF with 10 frames per second in this test. And after I was trying to create different type models. So if you do, again, going with very like 0.7, you can see it does not look same. It does look body movement, someone applied, and it's not bad if you try to do like mock-up style animation. So you just, all figures, you just need to pause in motion. So it will work very well in this case, but it does not work well representation exactly the same person as there. So you can try to spitzify, like for example, here, spitzify older man, wizard with a beard, you know, all this stuff. However, you can see how much face is changed and everything. So again, this 0 0.7 is a little bit too much, 0 0.5 even of the noise. So then you want to go a little bit down in uh, animations, create a little bit more um, different stylizations. And again, I think that one is what I found the sweet spot. It was with uh, about this one 0.3, so between uh, 0. 1.5 to 0 0.3. This is probably the best range if you want to create and based on your animations. This one done with 0.3 with the ink um, punk, the model applied to this. And you can see it's represent my hands very well. It's actually even have it my motions to zoom to the face. So this is individual kind of portrait on that. However, to have it, this creativity is not that bad. And here, example video from August Cantina Bar inside the Disneyland Galaxy Edge. And you can see, I like, for example, colors. I like camera move, but I want to create something more from this. So I don't want to necessarily create robots. So I can say I want Cyberpunk City to create it for me. And here's was the result. You can see the camera, big subject about same coloring somewhat, but it is provide that nice camera move that I wanted and provide nice coloring. You can 
create a nice basic animation so you don't need the restraint the only restraint is work very well if you work want to keep it same um, look same recognizable object in your video okay and right here the animations we just created with the settings of course we can apply something more but you can see it's how I say it's very it's recognizable but it is enough sterilizations to make it look something different and I definitely see using this in uh, music videos when I do or some other animations that is actually a very nice way to do it maybe even make your own animation well anime cartoon based on this when your actors can play it and you have to convert with this stylization so in one more example uh, before we jump to upscaling I want to show you this is example 12 frames per second and most important for me was test here the movements so it's a nice one the position stationary but right here you can see as we said before they're going toward the stairs touring around again it's a galaxy edge and this is a result of this when we're done with the stylizations as star wars cyberpunk with the ink punk model and you can see it's actually performed very well it's keep its shapes quite a bit nice it is performing some recognizable people and the shapes and environment is recognizable as well this one is was done with a 0.25 so we could reduce this in we can make even better but this is 12 frames per second mostly what i was testing how motion and you can see it's actually quite a bit nice and smooth motion motion happening here but as we mentioned before, if you're creating your image is small, your video is small. So I prefer to upscale afterwards. And beside Topaz video, AI did a great job at that. So all what we need to do is take our video, drag and drop inside. Then it's showing what options we wanted. Um, you can go up to 4K if you need the resolution on this. And I notice right here, it's have it frames per second. Uh, I actually don't like interpolations that's happened with this specific style. It's worked very well with just other videos, but with the ink punk, uh, I don't like how the interpolations happen. I'll show you in a second what I was meaning by this, but we'll just leave it original 12 frames per second. You can have it upscale 4K. If we're going down, you'll see right here enhancement will in turn on of course because we have it upscale going on one thing i do recommend sometimes you can increase the grain don't put it too much but it will help uh to blend some details on upscaling but you're not required this is just optional things and when you're done all what we need to do just click export click ok and it will start creating our image so it depends on a speed of your again processor speed of the computer everything it will take some time Sometimes it's going very fast, depending on the size, but it is, I found the best way to upscale your videos because you can see with 4K right here, we have it stretches and you see how the sharp and better details we have it in this case. But as I said before, you don't necessarily want to use the interpolation to add frames in this. And uh, this is the reason why, if you notice, okay, let me go ahead and showing you frames okay open right videos like right here you can see this kind of watery things going around see how it's a uh, um, blurring in and out so it's interpolation let's try to put frames between but it's what it does it's have this this frame and put it blending frame between them and it's not necessarily does very good job in this case it's work excellent if you do any like natural footage not very stylized uh, then it does very great job but with stylizations interpolations does not work very well and this will have a similar effect or somewhat frame kind of bad blending if you try to do when you're creating gif to gif conversions so that is actually reasons why i say um, interpolations if you want don't use it because it does not give you any good result and here's our 4k footage of course it's very large big so i need to scale down but look on the sharpness so this is a little bit down look how they produce very well lines how sharp and nice producing on this case so it's why i like to upscale afterwards when i'm using this so of course the sterilizations may be a little bit too much maybe need to be decreasing but again it's experimental 
Overall, here's the video about how you create it. By the way, in the end, what I'm going to do is take all the videos that I created as I was testing with the put them together and you can watch and see what you think, what stylization you think it's going, what do you like it. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it's provided enough information for you to start doing this on your own. If you like it, give thumb up, subscribe, share, please. It's helped me to um, get more views on my YouTube channel. It's just kind of encouraged to do more videos. And again, thank you and great have a great, great day to create your own animations. Thank you.